With the James Webb Telescope starting its exploration of the vast universe, it's still bound to make some of the most interesting observations ever. Scientists hope to discover millions of planets, hoping to find at least one planet that can support life. The thought of finding life on another planet has been one of the many missions scientists have had for the longest time possible. So far, the Webb Telescope has sent back a couple of images that have proven what the telescope is capable of. With the help of the telescope, they might just have found the most distant and oldest galaxy ever. But could it really be the oldest? Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll look at the discovery of the most distant and old galaxy made by the James Webb Telescope. But before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on what's happening in space. And with that, let's find out more about this galaxy. Thanks to the power of the James Webb Telescope, scientists have now started discovering record-breaking distant galaxies by the dozens. All this is through sifting through the immense load of data that's been collected by the James Webb Space Telescope so far. As they were going through the data, scientists discovered lots of galaxies that are as old as 200 million years after the Big Bang. Before the James Webb Telescope was launched, the most distant galaxy that was confirmed was one known as GN Z11. According to astronomers, this galaxy was about 420 million years old after the Big Bang. This meant that it had a redshift of 11.6. Scientists use the term redshift to describe how much the light coming from a galaxy has been stretched as the universe expands. Therefore, the higher the redshift, the farther back in time the galaxy really is. About a week after the release of the first scientific images captured by the James Webb Telescope, astronomers were already reporting sightings of planets with a redshift of 13. This is about 300 million years after the Big Bang. However, a new set of data sent by the James Webb Telescope has revealed that there is in fact another galaxy that smashes that record. Not so long ago, scientists revealed that they found galaxies with a redshift of 20. If this is in any way true, then we may be talking about galaxies that existed about 200 million years after the Big Bang. However, that's just a possibility and may not be true. At this stage, none of the redshift values have been confirmed. For astronomers to fully discover how far the galaxies really are, they would need to perform spectroscopic analysis. This is where they split the light coming from an object into what scientists mainly refer to as a spectrum. However, this analysis comes later. Nonetheless, it's quite clear that the James Webb Telescope is fully capable of detecting some of the galaxies that are in this long-lost era. Most of these galaxies have been detected using different techniques. Hao Jing Yan from the University of Missouri, Columbia, led a team of astronomers in using gravitational lenses that were created by the galaxy cluster SMAX J0723. They used the lens to detect 88 potential galaxies that are beyond a redshift of 11. This includes a large group that's said to be at the redshift of 20. If they were able to be validated, these galaxies would be the most distant ever detected. Considering the cosmic expansion that's been taking place over the years, these galaxies might be as far as 35 billion light years away from us. In addition, two other papers have reported finding high redshift galaxies in patches of the sky where JWST has simply taken deep exposures. Furthermore, this has been achieved without resorting to gravitational lensing. These images are a part of a survey known as the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science. It's said to have images of 10 different sky patches captured by the Webb Telescope near infrared camera. The telescope's near-infrared spectrograph looked at six of these patches, while the mid-infrared instrument looked at the other four. A team of astronomers, led by University of Edinburgh PhD student Callum Donnan, discovered a potential galaxy with a redshift of 16.7, which is about 250 million years after the Big Bang. In addition to that, the team also discovered five other galaxies that had a redshift that was greater than 12. All these galaxies exceed the redshift record that was set by the Webb Telescope predecessor and now colleague, the Hubble Space Telescope. On the other hand, another team led by Stephen Finkelstein of the University of Texas at Austin used the same observations from Sears and discovered that there was a galaxy with a redshift of 14.3. 
this places the galaxy about 280 million years after the Big Bang. The researchers have named it Macy's Galaxy, after Finkelstein's daughter. The astronomers discovered that this galaxy might also have been spotted by the Hubble Space Telescope, but at the time it may not have been recognized. If a closer look at the archive data were to reveal the galaxy, then that would mean that Macy's galaxy must have very strong ultraviolet emission from a powerful burst of a star formation for it to have been spotted by the Hubble telescope. It is without a doubt that all the distant galaxy candidates have evidence of strong ultraviolet light emission. In fact, it may be sufficient to settle the debate over what caused the ionization of hydrogen gas in the universe. It has the potential to put an end to the so-called cosmic dark ages. Scientists have been pretty sure for a long time that radiation from the first stars and galaxies and radiation coming out of the first supermassive black holes are two of the main causes. In the paper published by Donnan's team, they calculated the galaxy ultraviolet luminosity function. That is between redshifts 8 and 15. This function is the average amount of ultraviolet light associated with galaxies at any particular epoch. The value has been strongly linked to star formation. This is because as more hot young stars are formed in a galaxy, more ultraviolet light will be emitted. So, to this, Donnan's team concluded that there is more than enough ultraviolet radiation being produced by the stars in these early galaxies, which ends up ionizing the universe. The abundance of high redshift galaxies that are being discovered can be considered cosmic babies. These galaxies are about 1,000 or so light years wide, and they all contain tens of millions of stars. For the more modern galaxies, you can even find that they are home to hundreds of billions of stars. According to the astronomers, these cosmic babies could be as old as slightly less than 100 million years and as young as 20 million years. Even with the discovery of a very old galaxy, scientists are yet to discover any of the very first galaxies in the universe. These universes are estimated to be at a redshift of about 25 or more. But even though they have not discovered any of the original universes, the new detections are said to represent generations of galaxies that came shortly after. These are also the galaxies that scientists can see in the early stages of development. The James Webb Telescope can discover ultraviolet light because it has been redshifted into longer wavelengths of, of infrared visible to the telescope. The amount of ultraviolet light combined with the abundance of high redshift galaxies with the Webb Telescope was able to find so early in its mission led one to speculate that galaxies were quite numerous in the earliest history of the universe. However, contrary to popular belief, the star formation rate may have declined further back in time. This is compared to there being a sharp drop-off beyond redshift 11. As Finkelstein's team wrote in the paper, should follow-up spectroscopy validate these redshifts, it means that our universe was already aglow with galaxies less than 300 million years after the Big Bang. Now that the James Webb Telescope has discovered these strong candidates at great distances, there are many more questions to be answered. How much farther back in time can the James Webb Telescope really see? Will it be enough to discover the very first galaxies that existed, maybe a hundred million years after the Big Bang? We can only wait to find out. Do you think the James Webb Telescope is powerful enough to discover the original galaxies? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on what's going on in space. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.